action. All right, man. So we're gonna be doing some uh, flat meat, aka carne asada. Um, so we, this is a COVID edition, man. So we're just chilling at the house. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. We're gonna do on the Weber with some charcoal. So first thing first, we're just gonna pat this thing dry. It's kind of a bunch of napkins. So I set up some foil, some napkins underneath, just kind of help contain everything. So just. Alright, the next thing that I like to do right here, I mean, I like to just kind of like cut all this like, uh, I don't know, is it like, we call it silver skin or whatever, I just like to get rid of that, so <clears throat> let me get a knife out, so I just kind of cut I don't know if it's fat, I don't think it's fat. And it's not that serious, I just like to get some of it out. Well, I just do the best you can. And I just don't want to take too much out. I guess I should say we got these flat mitts from Costco. I kind of want to get a lot of my meat. What do you think, Cass? I could. That's it, you know, not too crazy. There's a little bit more you could probably do, but I'm just gonna like try to just burn it out. All right, so I'll just do the best I can. I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna throw this out. All right, so now that we all like, you know, kind of trim all the silver skin or whatever you wanna call that, I'm just gonna season it. We're gonna use this, uh, uh, me Church, Dia de la Fajita. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on it. I think, uh, I think it's this right here. Just kind of as a binder. And on both sides. Not too much. Kind of give it a little bit of a. Just to kind of help the season stick to it. I think it's supposed to help with the cooking. I don't know. Alright. And don't be scared of adding some uh, seasoning. Just go ahead and. You know, give it a good.
So something that I've done in the past, like if you don't have fajita mix, I've actually just used like regular like meat seasoning for beef and I actually done lemon pepper on it. Um, so I don't know if that's like appropriate or not, but I've done that before just to kind of give it like that carne asada taste, like that lemony taste. So that's something that you might want to consider. So I have fajita, so this is all I'm going to use. Alright, that's it. We're just gonna let it rest. We're just gonna go set up the Weber. Action! Alright, man. So, for those of you that are new to grilling, um, so I really recommend some kind of like leather gloves. I have these, but I've been trying to get some older gloves, but these are good enough. You need some of these. You also need a chimney, a charcoal chimney. I mean, I used to try to light charcoal um, like with lighter fluid and all that stuff, but no, you just don't do it. Just get yourself a nice uh, charcoal chimney. I got this at Home Depot, right? You could get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. It's like 20 bucks. Best thing you could do. And then you could kind of see here, we got our Weber. This is a master touch. It came with some crates. And this is some old charcoal from like a previous cook. So um, we're just gonna leave those in there. So usually you kind of want, what I've learned was, you know, like a nice chimney full of charcoal is enough to kind of like cook. But I just filled it like, not all the way, just because I have some charcoal here. And so how we're gonna light this, we're gonna, you know, kind of like any lighter. And then we just kind of have some napkins here that I was using to kind of clean the, just kind of clean the, the Weber um, before we kind of got this. So, boom, just kind of put it right here. Underneath. And then we're just gonna light it. Just kind of make sure that it's on fire, kind of multiple points. And that's it, you know, just kind of give it like five, 10 minutes and uh, that should be going. And then we'll come back in five, 10 minutes and uh, get it going. Action. All right, so it's kind of been like, what, like 10 minutes or so? You could kind of see that the flames is going pretty good. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna just get on this side. Just kind of wanna be careful here. Just dump them all right there. All right. So we got these tongs. They came with our slowness here, not shown here. They're pretty good, so just kind of like position it right here. Some coals. And you don't need to use these crates. I just like to use them to kind of like, uh, they came with the Weber, so I just like to keep everything neat, but they're not necessary. I think you could just dump the coals. Like, uh, on the crate itself. So if one falls, it's no big deal. So the way I like to do it, because we're gonna be doing the flat meat, I'm just gonna do them like this. There we have like a nice just big zone like that. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna put the grate on, you see? I'm just gonna put this. I'm just gonna put this right here. And then you kinda wanna have so the master touch, you can uh, wanna record this right here. 
the master touch comes with these cool like little uh, um, icons so this means all the way open so you just kind of want to leave it all the way open like your vents and then on the top here you also want to just open everything up so just keep everything open because we're going to be cooking flat meat so we're not really smoking we're just grilling today so you see here just kind of Make sure that no coal's kind of getting too close to our meat here. So we're just going to give it like a few, like a minute or two, like five minutes, just so that the coals get nice and hot. We'll give it one last cleaning, and then we'll come out here with our meat. All right, so it's kind of been like around five minutes. We're just going to like scrape the grill pretty good with this. Kind of want the grills nice and hot, just so that Whatever food was on it could just kind of fall off. And I think that's good. I think we're kind of ready to get our meat in here. One last thing though. Uh, I guess we will get like a piece of foil. I do recommend that you get a piece of foil just to kind of like knock off any bristles that matter like if you have like a like I guess like a cheap bristle brush sometimes they do break off and you don't want that in your food because then you could eat it that could be dangerous so just for safety we're gonna get a piece of foil and then just kind of like scrape it off just to, just in case if there's any loose bristles we'll get that off yeah okay so we just got like a piece of like a foil and open that and if you have some of the these gloves you could actually I mean, just be careful not to get burned. Be fast. And I think that's good. We're good, so we're just gonna get our meat, and we're just gonna cook. All right, so we got our meat right here. So just kind of make sure that your vents are all the way open. So that's open. You get all the way open. Get that going. So I think our, our coals are nice and hot. Okay, so we're gonna get cooking. So what I like to do, I like to just kind of like put two minutes on each side. Uh, so that's how I like to do it. So I'm just gonna put it here. Just get this big piece here. And that's why I arranged the baskets kind of like, like, like diagonal, just so that we could kind of like get some good heat all the way across. So we do have a timer here. Ooh, I'm just gonna close it. And we do have a timer here. <clears throat> we have the timer. I like to use the iPhone. It has like a timer stopwatch. And so this is kind of what I like to do here. Hold up. Got it. So we're just gonna do two minutes. And then each time we flip it around, I like to press slap. So we'll show you why. It's just a cool way to just kind of keep a, a time of your whole total cook. And, you know, it doesn't have to be like that accurate. I mean, it's just kind of like two minutes, give or take. So we're just going to set it down here and just give it two minutes. Okay, so it's, we're kind of we're going to hit two minutes, like I said, give or take. So we're just going to do the meat. We're going to go change the meat. So you could just... What was it? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna flip it. Lift this piece here. Yeah, now we're gonna hit the lap. So we're just gonna come here, hit lap, and it starts a whole new one. So that's what I like to do. That's why I like to use that function. Now we're gonna close the grill. And we're just gonna give it another two minutes. Hold up, action. All right, we're at the two minute mark again. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. So we're just gonna open this up and I'm gonna give it another turn. That's it, we're gonna close it back up. And we're gonna press the lab button here. We're just gonna give it another two minutes. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Action. All right, by the way, I actually went and cleaned this. So when I handled the raw meat, 
and then I kind of cleaned it so now this is kind of like even though it's still kind of dirty but this is kind of like the heated meat so whatever <laughs> Okay, so we're at the two minute mark again, so we're just gonna flip it again. And what I like to think when it's done, ooh, let's get that going. Like, I don't know, man, you see like people like, uh, just kinda getting some good color here. So we're just gonna close it back up. Give it another two minutes. Should place that lab button here. So, I noticed that some people, I don't know, like the way I like to cook the flat meat, I like to keep flipping it every two minutes. And when I think that it's done, I, don't, I like my meat like well done. So I wait for it to, it starts getting like a red hue. And that's kind of what I consider it done. Other people, you notice, if you, I don't know, I've, I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people kind of take it out before that and they slice into it. And I don't know, it's too raw for my liking. So this is the way I think when it's done, I just keep flipping it every two minutes and then it starts taking like a red hue. And that's when I like to eat it. So to each his own. So if you kind of want to take it out earlier, go right ahead. I wait to it till it turns red. And I don't use a thermometer even though we have some, just because like I said, it's, it's probably already done. Um, so that's just the way I do it. Action. Got it. So we're back to two minutes again. So you can see here back to two minutes. So we're just gonna flip the meat over. So I'm gonna pull this back. And I see it sizzling. Is it good? Yeah. Boom. So we're just gonna flip it one more time here. You kind of see that it's kind of getting some color now. That's just kind of what I like to see. So we're just gonna give it another two minutes. I'm gonna close this, make sure that our vents stay open, and we're gonna just press the back button here. Another two. So we just keep doing this process over and over till the meat gets a little bit more color. You can see that it's getting more color. I like it a little bit more. I like it a little bit more burnt. That's just me. So we're just gonna keep going. Got it. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're back at two minutes again, so we're just going to repeat the process. Just going to open it up. Give it another turn. Ooh, that's kind of what I'm liking. Ooh. Get a close up of that. Oh, bit of flare up, so we're just going to turn it off. Now make sure our vents are still open. And just press the lab button again. Alright guys, we're approaching another two minutes, so I have a hunch that I think it's almost done here. So boom, look at that. Let me see here, so I'm just going to flip it over. Got a shot of that. Yeah. I'm just going to flip it over. See here. I think it's done. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah, I think we're going to call this one. So this is how I like my flat meat. I know like other people like they, I don't know, I think they take it out earlier. But I like, I like burnt meat I guess. So there it is, boom. Okay, so this is a better picture of the meat here. And both sides, nice and crisp. That's the way I like my meat. On this side. So we're just gonna let it rest. Oh, I really like this side right here. So we're just gonna cover it up with foil and then just let it rest, get, a, get the rest of our meal ready. Go. Cool. Record? Yeah. Uh, this is just extra footage. So you got some mac and cheese that we've got started in the oven. Um, so we're just kind of putting it out here just so that it could kind of get that smoky flavor. So we also got tortillas right here. Um, so I'm setting up, I got this from, uh, I think it's a Slow and Sear. It's like a great, it, it's not a Weber, um, but man, we're just gonna put tortillas on top and uh, you know, I'm just gonna put them up here. <clears throat> I 
guess we'll just put them on. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna bake tortillas. <laughs> so we're just gonna close this up here. Just kind of keep a close eye on the tortillas. Give it like a minute or so. And, uh, we'll just that's it. Extra footage. Uh, you'll, we'll just leave them all cooked like that. Give it another minute or so. They're nice and soft. See, they're nice and soft. So just kind of flip them around, I think. Yeah, just move them around so the top ones go um, the bottom. I'm no expert guys, I'm just kind of, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just cooking, so I'll eat those things like that, <laughs> so just do what you, you know, I'm no expert, this is just me, you could, I don't like to put tortillas over the direct flame because they burn too fast, so that's kind of the way I like to do it, uh, you guys do it the way you guys do it, like I said, I'm figuring this out just like you guys. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to pull some out, expect them, see if some need to go back on the grill. Ooh, it's kind of hot. I don't know what you think. Okay. They're they look done. good to me. Yeah, they look good. I'll just put some here. There's some nice soft ones that we could kind of use a little extra crunch. This one's done here. in there. Why not? Why not? Give it another minute or so. 30 seconds. I don't know. <clears throat> Action. Alright, so we're just gonna call it. We're getting hungry. Everything's kind of seems ready. Let's do some. There we go. Boom. So that's it, our food. And uh, we're just gonna take this real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys something at the end, okay? Got it? Action. All right, guys, if you guys were ever wondering what to do when you guys are done cooking, I mean, I've done it before. I've thrown water on the coals. I don't know what I've done, you know, when I was learning how to grill. So all you gotta do is just close all your vents. Close that, and you can just cover the flame, and just kinda close, close your vents, and then just let the fire die out. So just, it'll probably die off like in like 30 minutes or so. Everything will turn off. And that's all you have to do. So when you're done grilling, just don't throw water on it. Don't do anything. Just turn off, close your vents, and that's it. We are done. So we're going to go eat now. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Action. All right, guys, this is the money shot. So we're just going to cut into the meat here, kind of show the final product, all right? We're just going to start here right down the middle. Boom, look at that. Oh. That's how I like my meat. No, not too, not too raw. So I'm just gonna cut a nice little slice here. And one thing, guys, you guys wanna cut, actually, you should be cutting this way against the grain to make it more tender. But I just wanted to show them it. Yeah. So we're gonna be cutting it across the, across the grain. Kind of. Mm, 
and then we'll just cut it out. We're just gonna eat, guys. That's it. Let's do this. So here it is, guys. I'm just gonna the money shot. Mmm. Delicious. So not that not that difficult. Get yourself a Weber grill and get cooking, man. Get grilling. That easy. Mm. Oh yeah.